another mini and another minivan we are leaving on new Year's day we were very very sad but we were off to a new destination a quiet destination we're very excited to be going to port barton <laughs> Made it to Port Barton, get dropped off again at the bus terminal and then we've got to get a tuk tuk to our hotel or tricycle. I think it takes about 10-15 minutes from here and again it's only about 50 paces each, it's not too much at all, so we're just going to get there. It's not too bad, we've got a loft, we've got a lovely little balcony here, look. Look out onto the huts, it is lovely. Look at the view out there. Incredible. Molly, you're going to take us upstairs now, Dan? Oh, you have to go before me. Oh, it's nothing amazing, but you don't get that in Port Barton. They're all pretty much the same. There's our loft bed with a fan, with a view over the basketball court. Yeah, enough of the room. You're not in Port Barton for the rooms, which is why they don't have fancy resorts. You're in Port Barton to explore, so we're going to get out. Walk down to the beach and just see what's going on. So just walking out of the hotel along to the beach and you can just see how little tourists there are. Um, compared to El Nido, this is like a ghost town. But it's really, really nice. I'm really looking forward to see what the beach looks like. beach here it's so so quiet I know most people go to White Beach which is like I don't know like a 10 minute boat ride away I think we're gonna do it in a little bit but the main beach here at Port Barton is so quiet you've got a few restaurants on the beach but it's lovely it's like you've escaped everything I'm gonna go there but the river leading to the sea is there. Molly thinks she's found a bridge. Because I'm very clever, I think we just have to walk around it and cut across the river the sensible way across the bridge. There's nowhere to ask. There's nobody to ask. There's no tourists for information. You just have to use your clever brain. It's perfect, isn't it? So we've now walked all the way up both ends of the beach here at Port Barton. Probably seen two other tourists and all the bars, restaurants are really, really quiet. Um, we were talking to someone, they said that a lot of people will be out on island hopping if they do come to Port Barton or they will have gone to uh, White Beach. So I think we're going to get the boat across to White Beach. You can't get over how few tourists there are here. And like, we've seen stuff on here, like in the last couple of years, people coming here. So we thought, yeah, it's built up, there's gonna be a lot more people, but still, there's like no one here. We're like the only people walking around this street here. Yeah, apart from locals, and this is where quite a lot of the restaurants and bars and things like that are, there's still no one here. It's so good. We're getting our um, shuttle, shall we say. <laughs> to White Beach. You can get a motorbike there, you can walk there an hour, or you can take a boat, and the boat is completely empty. We've got of it, all, it is. all to ourselves, basically like a private little boat. I think it only takes about 10 minutes, and it is 150 per person each way, but it's more the experience of taking the boat. And then, which way? Like this? Any time today. Ah. Ah, oh, look, expert. You have to pay a 50 pesos tourism fee and I think that's only I think that's actually each time you come to the beach which is different normally you pay it and you get to come for the week but here I think it's for the day I might be wrong uh, I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure that's what they were telling me um, but you have got unlimited use of hammocks sunbeds and everything like that and probably the best thing of all I found a hammock yay perfect way to chill out it's nice and peaceful not that many, not so peaceful. Just set up, just, 
here, nice little spot. There's still hardly anyone around and we're finding it really hard to get our heads around because like, it's so beautiful. There's Coconut Beach that you pass on the way. That looks insane. You can obviously guess why it's called Coconut Beach. It's just as many coconut trees, palm trees here, but it really is insane. And Matt has found a jellyfish. I mean, I don't even know. I don't know if it's alive. Uh, yeah, that would be really that sad. It's huge. It is huge. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's humongous. Just a quick update the jellyfish is alive. We think it stung a couple of people in the sea, so I was going to go in there. I'm, I don't think I am now. <laughs> So we're looking to go back now, they've waited for us. But the captain here is fast asleep, so you're gonna go and wake him up, aren't you? No, I'm just gonna be the captain. And we're off, we woke the captain up. <laughs> Luckily he's gonna take us back. Not to say goodbye to that M3 Bulls up. Uh, head back to Port Bar and have a shower and everything like that. Then head out and we're going to attempt to go to the restaurant with the best Wi Fi and see if we can get a vlog up. Alright, so we're back in the room. Molly is uh, putting some stuff on the hard drive. Definitely not uploaded in here. But no. we're. Uh, we experienced our first pork barton shower this evening. <laughs> it was good fun actually. It was, so very, like, it was refreshing, wasn't it? They don't have hot water, so it's like cold, fresh water. And also, they don't actually have a shower. It's a bucket um, and a hose or a tap. But it it's was good, really It's a good refreshing. experience, isn't it? Yeah. And, check this. A little trick if I can zoom in quickly. If you're not getting Wi-Fi, put a plastic bottle on top. It improves your signal apparently. So we're off to Mabuti. Um, I think it's like some sort of cafe, sort of bar, restaurant type of thing. Um, but apparently it has the best Wi-Fi. Everyone's told us this. So fingers crossed we can get our vlog. I've got the laptop. We're going to try and get it up tonight. Just pray, 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 pray. The only bad news, if I've heard, it is vegetarian. I don't know what that's all about. But hopefully they do say it's vegetarian. That's nice. But there's literally no light at night like every, all the power goes off so molly is using her phone to navigate us she's got the bikes with the light i haven't got a clue where we're going here Many, many, not so peaceful. 